Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Faychick 777 and today I'm coming at you with just a small share. Okay, well maybe 10 small shares. I am currently in a swap with Muriel, Mrs. Cooper's Coop, here on YouTube, and of course I will put her link down below. Now we decided to do kind of a little fun mini swap, I guess you could say. We wanted to do a regular swap, but when she'd asked me a while back, I told her it was going to be sometime middle of summer before we could actually do a swap and we thought well you know what hey let's just do something a little bit different so we decided to make 10 small I guess you could call them like maybe charm assemblies something like you know Arctic cake or the industrial chic line something like that so we kind of gathered our inspiration from those two lines and assembled 10 small, you know, charm assemblies. So I'm going to move my sign out of the way so we can get going and I can show you what I've came up with. Okay. All right. And I'm going to bring my camera in just a bit. Oh, I went the right way. All right. So this first one I'm going to show you, I had showed on Facebook giving a little sneak peek and here it is. These I'm sure will be kind of hard to show, but I'll do the best that I can. We'll kind of just go up it a little bit and show you things, move things around, show you what I've got. Okay, so what we'll start off with is this first little piece up here, obviously, is a little Tim Holtz swivel clasp. Okay, is that what you call them? Swivel clasp? I think so. Let me move my light just a bit. Okay, and then this next piece is from Finnebar, the uh, Vintage Trinkets, this uh, Love, Live, Create charm. Okay, and on top of that, again, another um, metal trinket from that line. I picked these up at my local scrapbook store. It's this right here. This is what I picked up. Okay, so these are real fun to create with, some fun things. So this one and this is what I used on that. Okay, and then in the middle of that is just a little uh, thing. I believe it's from the Industrial Chic line, and it's actually like a little pin. I'll flip this over. Oopsie. See, it's a little pin, but what I did, you know, I didn't want it to come off, off obviously, so I glued it on there so it's stuck on there. So that's, you know, I wanted to kind of hook all that together and let it hang from the center there. So, and then hanging from that, I've got a couple little charm assemblies here that I've put together. Now, Almost, I'd say 90% of these I did put together myself. Like, you know, this little bead, and I ran like the little head pin through it. And those of you that maybe don't know, you know, beading or anything, these are called head pins. They've got a little flat end there. Um, almost like if this was a stick pin and you were putting your uh, beads or charms on top of it. And then what you do is take jewelry pliers, um, the cutters first cut the length you want and then take these little curling pliers and make a little loop at the top once you're done which is like that so can you see the bottom here's my head pin added a little heart charm this beautiful little pink bead I got from Walmart and then there see right at the top right here right there's my little loop I made to hook onto the jump ring okay so assembled that this again is another one I did I've got some little bead caps on either end of this kind of um, crackled looking uh, bead here. I believe I got it Michael's. I love these. It's kind of a cream color. I don't think that's coming off on camera, but there's that. And then this little um, assembly, I think it's Artie Cakes. They have um, some chain assemblies you can buy, and all the chains have like you know, three different designs that hang on the one chain. And I love to buy those because I can take them apart. So that's where this top piece come from. And then I just hooked a little um, pearl, you know, on the bottom of that. Now, all my laces I used came from Jazella, either as a gift or from her shop. So this is a little, um, this one I know is a vintage lace that she gifted me. Hi, Jazella, sweetie. Um, and for those of you that may not know, I will put her store link down below if you want to go take a look at what she's got. Just, you know, because you feel like it. She's got a lot of beautiful vintage laces and things like that. Excuse me. And right here, this is a Seven Gypsies jump ring. I love these because they're real big and industrial-like, really, you know, hearty. 
This is not something I put together. Remember, I didn't say 100%. This is from Michaels. You get like a strand of these. I just think they're fun. They're just great big glass beads. They've got netting on them and everything. So I just love the look of them. But I did hang a little charm at the bottom. Okay, so here is that first charm assembly. Now, most of all of these are pretty... I mean, I tried to combine like a little bit of industrial with a little bit of, you know, pretty you know, together, and I tried to make them pretty, what is the word I want it, not pretty as in pretty, but um, I tried to make them real usable, I tried to make them very general, oh, look, can you see, I tried to make them real general so that they can be kind of used on anything, okay, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, because it's a little bit late, but I'll think of it when I'm not trying to think of it, but anyway, here is the first one, okay, so I'll bring out the second one here, okay, I love this one. I think it's very simple. But I just love it because I don't know why I love it. I just do. I think I love them all. I'm lying. I love them all. <laughs> so here's this one. Okay. This one's just kind of fun. So the top one here, the hook is from um, the Industrial Chic line. Bead Landing Industrial Chic. Then back here is a Bead Landing gear. Love those big gears. Again, we have a lace from Jay Zella. I am almost out of this. And this is one I had actually bought from her store some time ago. And I went to go back, look the other day to see if she had some more. And she didn't. I'm so bummed. She had something similar, but not quite this. Because I use this all the time. Anywho, hanging from that, I've got a little just a uh, charm assembly I put together. A little glass teardrop kind of glass bead and a little heart. From that, I've got a little cute whimsical birdcage. I believe I got this from Craft Supplies 1, uh, her Zibit store. This is a little bead landing charm. And then I hung a little kind of dark colored diamond gem charm from that. Okay, so here's this one again. I know, right? It's pretty. Not exactly artichokes, but you know, I like them. Okay, so this next one coming in, this is also a fun one. Again, we have a little Tim Holtz swivel hook at the top, and I'll just kind of come down slowly. Don't know if you really get a good look at everything. I might turn it this way. There we go. Okay. Now, this is part of a package I bought at Michael's, and they're, tog they're called toggle clasps for when you make bracelets. They have, like, this round circle and then a little bar that fits through so it closes your bracelet up. But I just thought that was so ornate looking and actually kind of big as you can see. So I used it and then hung some jump rings from it. And from those jump rings I hung like a little diamond a gem assembly here. On this one it's a little bead cap. And then what I did is I took five pieces of chain. This chain that I got from Joe. Oh no this one's from Michaels again. And I put them through the bead cap and out through the other end. I hooked them through and then, you know, put a little hook on the end so it hangs through the bead cap. Uh, don't know if I explained that right, but I think you get the gist. Anyway, so I assembled that. And then here again is some chain from that uh, other one I showed you, Artie Cakes chain. Kind of fun. And then this is just a little um, diamond, or not a diamond, but a... Um, oval gem I got probably again from Michaels I got most of my stuff from Michaels hanging from a little chain okay so there's that one nice and simplistic versatile that's the word I was trying to think of. isn't that I told you I think of it when I wasn't thinking of it I tried to make them real versatile so all these would kind of go with anything that you know Muriel wanted to use them on okay so there's that one I'm gonna bring in another one this one's fun I think because it's got peaches and pinks but here's this one Kind of hard to see. Just kind of give you a general look of it. I actually think it kind of goes... Nope, it goes that way. They just... You know, when you're hanging these little charms, they kind of get turned around. There we go. So kind of give you a look-see there. So at the top, as you can see, again, Tim Holtz Swivel Clasp. Now, never fear, not every one of them has these clasps on it. And then I've got a little peach uh, lace that Jay Zelly gifted me on here. And then I've got a Tim Holtz uh, Word Charm that says Altered. And then right below that, I've got another little Tim Holtz charm that says Excellence. And I do try to make a match. So it says Altered Excellence. Okay. And then below that, I've got a little gear. Now, these are similar to Tim Holtz, but they are not. Blue Moon, 
um, at Joann's, the Blue Moon line puts out a lot of things that are kind of similar to Tim Holtz. So these are uh, Blue Moon gears. And then this is a industrial chic charm. Now this charm, I actually took, I have, let me show you here what I bought. I bought a bunch of these. These are from industrial chic. And they have different lengths. I took one of these and they're very sturdy, but uh, took one of these and kind of busted it apart. And then at the top of this little charm here to hang it from the gear, See, I took this and I um, shortened it on there and I re-wrapped it around the top of that gem and then hung it from the gear. You can see what I'm talking about there. And then from that, all that assembly, I'll kind of got this back, which you can see. I've just got some little uh, beads and stuff that I got from Walmart. They got in some fun new beads, peaches and pinks. So this kind of little square one, little glass beads, a round one, and, and these two are pink and this is kind of a... a peachy brown kind of oval one so really pretty so anyway so there is that charm assembly kind of fun huh okay and then i'll bring in this other one this is one of my faves too like i said they're all my faves i'm going to tell you everyone's my, one of my faves <laughs> so i'll bring this one in try and bring it in the right way there we go so you can kind of get a look so you can't really see everything right up but i'll you know point it out to you of course Okay, so at the top, I have a little Seven Gypsies uh, vintage pin here as the hook. Okay, beautiful vintage lace again from Jazella. Hanging at the very tip top of that, I made three little, they're all separate, three little charms. So I've got a little bead and then three little glass beads here. Again, I did like I told you, I hooked them all together using these little head pins. Okay, it's because it's kind of hard to see on here. If I can bring it in if it'll focus. Can you kind of see? There, you can see the loop at the top. The bead is on that little head pin. Okay? So three of those little guys there. And then I've got a little um, bead landing clock charm. These are my favorite little bead landing clock charms. And I've hung a little dark colored little gem from it. Underneath that, I have, it's a little farmhouse uh charm metal charm that I got up at our local scrapbook store I love this because this edge look they're all little hearts I know stinking cute and I didn't really want to fill the middles in because you know I knew it would kind of hang over the top and then I've got just a little key um, it's from a charm assembly I took apart that I got at Walmart so I just hung the little key on that okay so again another little simple charm set okay all right, off to another one. This is a fun one. Okay, yep, it's my favorite. <laughs> so here we go on this one. Kind of give you a look-see. Okay, so this is a big, I got a package of them, these little bead landing um, closures. Right here, got them at Michael's little closures so those are fun I think you know supposed to be for necklaces I'm sure but they make great little hooks when you're using charm assemblies because you can hook it to anything right and then I've got beautiful vintage lace from Jayzella and then this is something again from Walmart a charm assembly I took apart and then I made this little assembly at the bottom so what I did is hung a uh, or took a head pin and from it hung a little uh, pearl bead from Michaels, a little bead cap from Walmart, a couple of little um, Swarovski crystals, I don't even know how to say that, <laughs> that came out funny, Swarovski crystals <laughs> um, from the top of that and then I hung the little heart wing charm at that and then I looped it at the top and hung it from a little jump ring, okay? Underneath that, we all know this, this is just a romance novel um, vintage trinket. Okay, and then underneath that, these are some of the beautiful metal pieces um, that comes from Butterbee Scraps, her uh, online store. Okay, and I don't know if I said it or not. I know I said I would put Muriel's link down below, but I will also put the link down below to um, Jazella's store. Okay, and then I will put the link down below to Butterbee Scraps amazing the prices she has on these metals you guys will die you they're it's just awesome 
cannot believe it. Um, and then that other charm I showed you, the Birdcage Charm Craft Supplies one, I will put that link down below as well, okay? Just to give you guys a little shopping to go do. All right, okay, so here comes another one. This one's really going to be hard to show, but I'll try. In one sitting, at least. Because it's got bunches of different things um, hanging from it, so it's probably going to be a little bit hard So to show you. So we'll just kind of go little by little. So again, one of those little clasps. From there, oh, and here's another link I'll put down below, hung this cute little wooden word charm that I got from Saw, her, her Zibit store, Saw Crafter Zibit store, or is it Etsy? Zibit. One of the two. I'll put the link down below. It's late. Brain's not thinking. I'm serious late. It's like two in the morning. Okay, so this is her um, little word charm I hung from there, okay? And then from that, I hung a little black colored uh, little gem assembly there. From that I hung chain. This chain goes all the way down through and from the chain I took little jump rings hanging each one of these little you know charms I'm showing you. Okay, So this is a little bead landing locket. Okay, This is a Tim Holtz fragment and I just took glossy accents and then I did the Prima uh, Romantique paper and glossy accents and adhere it to the Tim Holtz fragment. So there's that. Okay. Next in line is a little, these are, uh, this is a Tim Holtz little assembly. You get a package of his, these little assemblies and stuff. So that is a little Tim Holtz thing there. Okay. From the bottom of that is, get it together here. Here we go. This is just a little assembly I got at Walmart. A little round thing and a cute little key and then this cute little loop-de-loop -loop charm here. Really cute. Hung that from there. And then this is a, my gosh, it's not, I got it at my local scrapbook store and I apologize because all of a sudden I cannot remember the name of that. So a little, you know, metal frame charm there. Okay, so there is that charm assembly. Okay. And I'll have um, a couple pictures on my blog with all the charms where I've got all the little, um, you know, pieces kind of spread out when I took a picture. So, you know, if you kind of wanted to try your hand at making some or it gives you some ideas, you know, there'll be a couple of close-up pictures on my blog of these assemblies, okay? All right, we just got a few left. Coming up, here is another one that's got a lot of um, charms hanging off of it. I'm going to give you a little peek -see at all of them, and then we'll kind of go through it, okay? This one's a little bit bulky. So I hung a little, um, is it Making Memories? A little pin here for the hook. I'm probably wrong on that, forgive me. Um, and then I've got some different charms. This is a little um, charm from Assembly I got at Walmart, this little rose charm. This is actually, my friend gave me, she found them at a garage sale. This is an actual vintage little jingle bell. She gave me a little package of these, so a little vintage metal jingle bell, okay? And then also hanging up here at the tip top, I've got a little dove that came from a, this big, it was like a bracelet with all these different charms I got at Walmart and I took apart. So we've got a little dove or a bird or whatever you want to call it. A little mirror right there. And then again, one of those little diamond assemblies here, okay? On this side, I've got just a little... Um, clear gem. I don't even remember where I got that out of, just from my stash. I've got a little fleur de lis hanging here, again from Walmart. This is just a little thing I put together. Took one of those head pins, um, stuck five little cute beads on there I got from Joann's, little like set of dollar beads or whatever. They're kind of sparkly as you can see, textured. Just kind of hung them like that. And then I've got another little um, kind of metal frame here. I've got a little, this one is actually a Tim Holtz gear right here. It's not the blue moon. And then this is a key. Okay, so there's that little assembly. All hung by this teeny tiny little hook. I wish I could remember the name of them, but all of a sudden I can't. Let's see if I got it down here. I want to give you guys the right name. Yeah, it is, Making Memories. I was right! It's late, but it's not too late. Vintage Findings right here. I've got it. There it is. Vintage Findings, Making Memories, in case you want to Google it and try and find some of those cute little pins. Okay, I got two left. This is a fun one. You guys know how I like to put an X and O on everything. 
Yes, I put one on one of my charm assemblies. <laughs> okay, here we go. I know, got an X and O. You didn't think I'd put it on everything, did you? Well, it's my signature thing. <laughs> so here it is, just at a glance. Again, a little Making Memories pin. A little vintage pin here at the top to clasp it all together. And I hung these all by, see if I can show you, one long chain. And I just hung each of these little charms off the chain. So at the tip top up here, I put this little bead on one of those head pins and I have these teeny tiny little clasps. So I hooked it to the little clasp and then clasped this little bead onto the chain, okay? And then here we've got a little, I think this one is, I can kind of tell the difference between the, the little Blue Moon uh, gears and Tim Holtz gears. So this is a little Blue Moon gear, okay? This is a little assembly, it's come onto this side that I put together. I did like a little bead cap and then kind of this little crackle gem, you can see that there, it's kind of cute. Stuck that inside the little bead cap, hooked it there. These are wooden Scrabble tiles I got from Saw Crafters and all I did was use my um, glue that I loved to adhere metals and everything down with, glued it together, punched a little hole in the top with my little crocodile and then hung it onto like a, um, this is a Seven Gypsies. I love their O-rings because they're nice and big. I think I said that once already, big and sturdy. So hung that on the assembly and it's just glued on the back plain on the back glued all together okay got the gear got that okay then we're getting down to here this is just a little bottle I got at Dollar Tree a long time ago they're um, come in a pack of like eight and they have little things in them to put on your nails and this one um, one of the bottles had little pink hearts in it so I split the little pink hearts up so you know I've got a little bottle of some cute little pink hearts in there to go with my hugs and kisses and then I've got a little lock and key. Okay? <laughs> I know! Alright, so. Alright, that's nine of them. We're off to the last one. Where's my tip top? Oh, here we go. Boom. There it is. Didn't think you'd spend so long on a video looking at charms, did you? Okay, last one. This one's fun because I made it real industrial, I think. Okay, so we're coming in. There's this one. Kind of give you a glance at it. Yeah, I made it kind of industrial, but kind of pretty at the same time. So at the tip top, I've got like one of those big clasps. And I did the same thing. I put um, a couple of different chains. This one has a chain all the way down there. You can see it. And I kind of hooked to the chain. So big clasp. And then this is a little bead landing clock charm. And on it is a little industrial sheet. This is again another little pin like that very first one I showed you. But it's just had a different back on it. This pin actually had like an earring back on it. And I just glued it in there so that sucker's not moving. Okay. And at the top of that hung a little bead landing kind of clock key to go with the clock charm. I know. And then I hung a little blue moon uh, gear. A little Tim Holtz artful uh, word charm there. Some beautiful vintage lace from Jay Zella's store that she gifted me. Maybe not from her store, but she gifted me. Or maybe it is from her store and she gifted me. Could be from her stash. I don't remember. <laughs> um, and this is just something from Walmart. Took apart from some other charm assembly. We have a little Tim Holtz number. And then I hung a little heart charm from it that says Made with Love. Okay. Then I actually took a real light bulb and I took wire and I wrapped it around the light bulb really tight. And you can see where I hung it. And what I did is I took that light bulb, I made a little loop with the wire, I hung it around, made a little loop at the top, and then I hung it to one of these. And then this hangs off the chain assembly. Okay? So that's how I did that. But I like this because, yeah, it's got a light bulb. It's really industrial looking. This more would remind me of something like Artichokes or something like that because it's real eclectic. But anyway, so there's my 10th and final charm assembly. Hope you guys liked viewing those. Like I said, I'll have all the 50 million links down at the bottom to all the stores and, of course, to Muriel's channel. And a link to my blog so you can see a couple of close-up pictures if you'd like to get some ideas and get your creative juices flowing. But anyway, thanks for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!